What's up guys, Andrew here and in this video I'm going to show you how to translate text on images using Google Translate. Now I'm on the Google Translate and you can easily access Google Translator by going to google.com. Let me go ahead and show you and access it by clicking the apps on the upper right hand side, find translate in the list and click on it. Or you can just easily search for Google Translate from Google and it will take you right over to this as well. Now once you're on this page you want to click on the image tab. And here you want to upload the image of your choice. You can upload the image by clicking browse file or you can drag and drop that file right here in this section. It's going to upload the image, right? Or you can easy, you can also copy or paste from a clipboard as well. So go ahead and choose that. In this case, I'm going to choose from files on my PC. And um, let's find something really simple. So let's go ahead and choose, for example, this thumbnail here, right? Check your messages, right? This is something that is translated. So once you upload the image, you will see immediately that if you have two languages selected from the detected language to the translated language, it will automatically translate for you. And you can see it right here that it translates. Now you can also show your original image as well. So you on the left hand side here, you will see this little toggle button here, show your original image. Just click on that and it will give you both versions of the image so that you can see what was translated it will not translate a word of the image image itself but it will translate the text detected from that image so as you can see the zotero logo it did not translate that because that is like an image on it right but it will detect any text that it can define on the image and try to translate that if you get it which this makes sense right it's very smart that it doesn't try to detect the words and try to change that from the logo right now that will detect your original language or original language of the original image. And if it doesn't do that, you can always click the drop down and try to find the language if you can try to identify it from the original image. Now on the right hand side, you can choose the destinated language or the translated language that you want to have it to. By simply go ahead and select the language if you have it here or click the drop down and choose something. So I'm going to choose something here. It's currently in Czech, but let's say I want to translate it to, I don't know, let's choose Croatian language as an example. You can see that it does translate to the Croatian language here. Let's choose something else, some African language. Let's try that. See, it does that as well. Let's choose something else. Let's choose French. Yeah, you see that it translates to French right there. Let's choose something else. Um, what else can we choose? I'm just going to randomly and choosing something that. Let's choose Hebrew example. You will see it translates in Hebrew. And that's it, guys. That's how you go ahead and translate it. Now, final thing I want to show you when it comes on to this is that you can easily go ahead and download your images. So once you find the language of your choice that you want to translate, look towards the right hand side or the upper right hand side and you'll find download translation. You can copy the text from it if you want to as well. It's really up to you. You can copy text from the translation of the image if you so desire. So if I copy text, you can see like right here, if I open a new tab, I paste, that's, that's basically the translation of the text from the image. And if I want to download the image, just click download translation. It's going to download it as an image as well, JPG, as you can see. And if I go to my downloads folder here, you can see that I get the downloaded image with the translated text. And that's all there is to it. Very easy and very simple, guys. 